I'm really passionate about everyone discerning their charisms, but I want to talk today specifically about why men should discern their charisms. I think there's a lot of things that men are hungry for that are missing in their experience of church right now. And that's not because it's not there. It's because it's not emphasized in a way that they can really latch onto it. If you look at gangs and why gangs proliferate and are quote unquote successful in really attracting new members, it's because of a few things. There's a strong sense of belonging. There's a strong sense of of purpose and there's a strong sense of adventure all of these things come from living this gang life that is obviously the opposite of what god is calling us into but we have a so much better version of all of those things in the church we just don't talk about it that way when we discern our charisms and especially when men discern their charisms all of a sudden it unlocks this sense of belonging, this sense of purpose, and potentially the sense of adventure in living their lives within the context of the church. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say a young man discerns that he has a variety of charisms and it actually doesn't matter which ones they are. But when he realizes that these are charisms that have been given to him, specific gifts from God, he now has this sense of belonging to the body of Christ. He has a function in the body, no longer just kind of a cell floating around in nonsense. There's a specific call, a specific role in the body of Christ that he's been called to play, which nurtures that sense of belonging. It also fe feeds into a sense of purpose. Now there's a, a goal that he has been invited into, into building the church, and he knows very specifically how he he's been called to serve that purpose and feels empowered to do so because he knows that the Holy Spirit has given him these specific gifts. And ultimately, this invites us all, but especially men, into this sense of adventure because it's not going to be a safe, comfortable, easy, risk-free thing to live into the fullness of what God is calling you to do. It might be something that you want to do, but it's not necessarily going to be something that's easy to do. It's not necessarily going going to be without risk. It's not necessarily going to be something that doesn't require courage. And so when you step out into the fullness of what your charisms are, you realize that life kind of becomes an adventure, responding to the Holy Spirit in the moment, looking for what it is that he's asking you to do at any given time, knowing that at any given moment, the Holy Spirit could share something with you that completely changes your day, completely changes someone else's day, completely changes someone's life. That is the kind of adventure that the Holy Spirit wants to offer us. And so much of that begins with knowing where our lane is in the church. And that's why I so recommend that all the men watching this, all the men in your life that you want to share this with, that they discern their charisms so that they can step into really this fullness of their masculinity that they're being invited into within the church.